Hi there, Grade 12s, and welcome to Cat with Mr. Hambry. I'm glad you can be with me today. Um, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on revision tips, things that you need to uh, look at, a way that you can prepare, and a way that you can actually handle this test and completely nail it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be looking at a, at a couple of things, and um, I'll mention some other links to some other uh, videos that I have that will help you there as well. So when we tackle the cat theory exam, okay, uh, it usually starts with a multiple choice section. Now, for those of you who haven't studied as hard, <laughs> yeah, I know, okay, if you haven't studied that hard, what you need to do is simply go through a process of elimination. So cut out the things that you know it's not, okay? Um, this is something that I want you to do or a strategy that I want you to use throughout your entire paper. When you tackle your theory paper, go right through the paper from the beginning all the way through to the end and do the things that you know are 100% correct. Write down the answers that you know are correct. Leave space for the others. And once you've done all that, you track back to the beginning and then you start tackling the things that you sort of know, right? But Ultimately, with that strategy, what's going to happen? You're going to fill everything in and we won't have any blanks. No blanks, please. <laughs> okay. Right. So, section number one. Usually deals with multiple choice, like I said. Just try to um, work through it in terms of cutting out the things that you know it's not. And then if you haven't put all that studying work in, um, some of you will be taking a guess. Others will know exactly what the answer is. Right, section number two, uh, it's usually on matching the items. Okay, so we're taking things from A, which are usually concepts, and you're matching them up to a description, all right? Now, I'm going to put, um, it's probably gonna appear up on the screen here, um, a, a link to uh, another video that I've done on just concepts that you need to prepare for, for your theory. So, have a look at the link at the bottom, click on it, check it out, that's gonna go through all your concepts. But what they want you to do is to match up a concept with its description. Again, go through them, see what you know, match those up, write it down, and you know you've done that. Then you can always go through the others later. The reason I say this is because most of you make one big mistake. You spend too much time on things you actually don't know. Oh, okay? no! So do the things you know, move on, you can always come back to it. All right, another section usually deals, uh, usually section number three or whatever the case might, might be, uh, it deals with the true or false section. Now, this is usually just a few marks, um, usually five, ten marks or so, but you need to remember this. If something is true, then it's true, okay? So, if they give you a statement and the statement is true, how are you going to answer it? True. That's it. There's no funny business to it, no um, giving a reason or justifying, it's just true. All right. However, if the answer is false, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to indicate false, plus you are going to have to give a reason. Um, I know in, in some of the questions they would ask you to actually change the word or whatever the case may be. But just remember, in order to get the mark that you need, you must say false and you need to indicate why it's false. You have to give a reason for that. Okay, we're together.